Rob Legata from Modern Tribe here. Today is Monday, April 15th, and I'm going to keep going with my video preview showcasing the Events Calendar and Events Calendar Pro 3.0. Last week I ended my series focusing on the General Settings tab. I actually did a two-part video walking through all the options you have available under this General tab and what they do, how they impact the front end, etc. Today we're going to keep going and we're going to look at the remainder of the tabs here, specifically the Display, Default Content, and Additional Fields tabs. I'll also give you a quick preview of licenses and help, but since those don't really impact your overall use of the plugin, I'm not going to go into much depth on those at all. Let's start off with the display tab though, and not waste any time getting into it. This obviously impacts the display, how the calendar looks on the front end of your site. And if you are thinking about modifying the display, you should probably come in and read this blurb beforehand. It gives an overview of our templating structure, as well as a link to our themers guide, and a link to the stub plugin that we've created, which allows you to create new views for the plugin itself. This last option is new for the 3.0 release. You are going to want to familiarize yourself with the stub plugin and how it works if you're thinking about creating your own views, but luckily we have a link to the plugin over GitHub right here. I'm also going to be doing another video preview, probably showcasing that in, in full and exclusively in a separate time down the road. For the most part though, you're going to have the option to do what you want with it by clicking this link. Should point you in the right direction to set up your own new views, and again, we will focus on this in another video later on, so I'm not going to review it right now. Let's get down into the settings though. The basic template settings, first thing we have is the default style sheet used for event templates. Skeleton style sheet is bare minimum, it just shows really barely anything because it expects that you're going to be adding styles of your own. There's full styles which are relatively laid out, it should adapt to your theme relatively well, but you might have to make a modification here or there. Or the event styles themselves which are new for the 3.0 release and pretty much do almost a fully designed full events theme that will fit fairly flexibly with a lot of different themes that are out there on your site. It's easier to see this than for me to explain it though, so let's check out the calendar right now. I want to make sure my skeleton style sheet is in place, and I want to go view the front end of the calendar. A couple things you're going to notice right off the bat. The events bar itself isn't a bar at all, it's just a couple of fields that you can enter text in. The view picker also is just a drop down, it's not stylized in the slightest. And the events themselves look kind of rough. You know, we just have basically a list. We have the events, the information is shown, the images are shown full size. There's not really any formatting, it's just kind of dropping it into a list, and you can look at it going down the page. Okay, it's pretty basic, but you're not going to really release and launch your site like this, because if you select this option again, you're adding your own styles. Full styles bump us up a little more, saving my changes, refreshing the front end of the site. Notice how immediately list view becomes substantially nicer, the event bar becomes substantially nicer, the view picker is actually styled and formatted and it actually is a nicely designed drop down. We're getting there, we're looking a lot better, I might need to customize this a little bit to look like my site, but otherwise I could also probably roll with this out of the box and it's not going to be disastrous. Images are resized, formatting is cleaner, etc, etc. If we check out another view, something like month, you're going to see a similar approach there. It looks good, it doesn't look great, it looks good, it looks okay. And then if we switch to the last option, the Tribe Event Styles, that's really the most fully designed out option. Go back, refresh the front end here. Notice how the calendar itself looks so much different. There's some nice colors, there's some variation there. It just becomes something that you could probably roll with out of the box and you might have to change a color or something. By and large, it's going to work pretty well without you having to make any modifications at all. Go back to List View where we started, looks even better. So you get a feel for what this does. Each one going up the ladder here, from Skeleton all the way up to Tribe gives you more and more styling taken care of for you and less that you have to do on your own. In terms of the events template, this also impacts the front end of the site and is essentially the page template that controls the overall appearance. Notice I have it on the default events template. We do our testing on these two primary templates, the default events template and the default page template. Your theme will bring in other ones. You can totally use those if you see fit. But the two that we do the most testing on and thus are probably going to work the most out of the box across the board are the default event template and the default page template. Default event is what you've been looking at here on the front end so far. And let's switch it up to the default page so you can see the main change that comes in there. If you guess that main change was the addition of a sidebar, you get a gold star. Really the biggest difference that you're going to notice on the front end of the site between these two templates is that one is substantially thinner to account for the addition of a sidebar if you want it. I'm going to go back to the default events template because I prefer to do my testing on that. I like to see my calendar full width. The event views that are enabled, right now I have all of them enabled, which means that when I come to the view picker here, it's going to show all the options. I don't have to go with all those though, as long as I have at least one view enabled, I can drop this down to as limited a list as I see fit. If I wanted to just have photo view, I can make it so. 
Note that if you do only have one view enabled, if I say only did go with photo view, naturally the default view here is going to automatically select itself as photo view. You cannot have your default view be a view that is totally disabled up here. The default view, as you probably expect, is just whatever view people see when they come to the slash events page. Right now my default view is list, which means that when I come to the slash events page on my site, it takes me to list view. Again, I can change this to any view I have enabled. The hide location search gives you the option to remove the ability for your front end users to use the event bar to search by location. Notice how the event bar looks on my site right now. We just have the events from and the search field. It's because I have this setting dis enabled. Basically the hide location search is on, which means that the location search itself is disabled. Let's uncheck the box, bringing the location search back. Refresh the front end of our site. And right off the bat, you'll see that we now have this third option. Search has been shrunk to make room for the near option and allows us to filter by a given location. Sometimes though, all your events take place in a certain geographic area and you don't even want your users to have to bog themselves down with that consideration. In that case, you just disable it with this checkbox.